Hi, I'm Vanessa Bermudez, and to answer the first question, um, what dispositions do I possess that make me a successful teacher? Um, and that would be dedication. Ever since my experience in China teaching in the kindergarten school, um, I believe that the Lord placed it in my heart to be an early childhood educator, and I believe that I portray a lot of the qualities in the professional disposition of learners article, for example, like punctuality, consistency consistent attendance, active classroom participation, and prompt completion of work. I'm always on time for work. I try not to, you know, miss a day of work because I want to be there for my students. I want to be able to educate them and teach them. And I'm always trying to complete my work ahead of time. I'm always prepping weeks before um, just so I can just be organized um, and be ready to teach my kids. Um, I also believe that I have compassion for my kids. Um, I'm always interacting with them, playing with them outside, playing with them indoors, always asking questions during circle time. And I, I'm genuinely interested in my students. I try to get to know them better. I ask them questions like, what did you do at home? Or how was baseball practice? You know, just to gain their interest and uh, and for me to learn more about them so that way I can know what they're interested in and kind of incorporate it in our lessons just so that they're motivated to learn. Um, to answer the second question, uh, what disposition do I need to work on to grow as an age educator? I think I need to grow on reflection. I know it is very important that we as educators um, reflect on our actions in order to provide our students needs. And I believe that this is why I started the master's program, just so that I can um, have more experience, reflect on, you know, um, past experiences that we've been learning, different ways to teach kids. Um, and even though I have years of experience working with children, uh, I, I need to dedicate more time um, to reflect on how I can improve in my profession as an educator in order to provide children with like a nurturing environment where they can learn. Uh, another disposition that I feel like I need to grow in is in my professional conduct as far as involving communicating with parents. In my previous experiences working with kids, um, I didn't really deal with working or talking with the parents and getting to know them. It was more of me just teaching the kids. Um, working with the kids like in my experience in China I because of the language barrier I couldn't communicate with the parents um, I was just helping the kids learn English um, and then working at in an ABA company we just worked one-on-one -on -one with the children and the BCBAs were in charge of you know communicating with the parents so I feel like now with my current job as a preschool teacher I feel like I need to work more in that area on how to communicate with the parents efficiently appropriately um, and professionally too I I want to be there for their kids I want to get to know them um, so I know it is very important to have that open communication with the parents to you know be in the same page as far as educating their their children. Uh, to answer the last question, what are the expectations of a professional in the field of education and how will you uphold these expectations? So in the field of early childhood education, we are there to provide care and education for the kids. Uh, we're there to provide a nurturing environment, um, a healthy environment, and a place where they feel safe to um, you know, be kids um, and let them have fun, let them play, but at the same time, we're there to teach them and educate them. And I will uphold these expectations by making sure that I continue to educate myself in this field and most importantly, maintain professional ethics in all areas of being an educator. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.